Hi, this is Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks, and I just want to give you a little preview of our project for the week, and it is this little uh, three-panel photo display. And I have, it's kind of far back, so it's kind of I'm sure hard for you to see, but I'm going to just pan in a little bit, and it is whoops, sorry about my finger. It's actually three different panels. It starts out with a clipboard um, at the top, and then it's this um, this fun cutout chipboard piece, and then the bottom it's another little mini clipboard, so you can put. Um, you can display three different photos on it. And I'm going to show you the technique for making these beautiful um, uh, three-dimensional roses and also our technique for um, doing this little um, trim treatment here. So we've got lots of fun things with this project. If you're one of the subscribers, you'll get the pattern to cut out that chipboard piece and um, all the directions to make those fun dimensional roses. All right, uh, Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to start on our clipboards. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your little 6x9 clipboards and you want to take some black paint and paint in quite a ways, maybe at least an inch around all the edges. And I actually painted the whole back of mine, which you wouldn't necessarily have to do. It kind of depends on what you want to do. And then I actually painted inside the mechanism because I didn't really want it to be too silvery. Now, as far as dealing with the clip, one of the things that you can do is you can take some black stays on ink, smear it all over the clip and let it dry and then go over it with paint and then the paint kind of has something to stick to and that will give it more of like an antique -y look. You could also color it with alcohol ink. You could also leave it silver. We're actually going to put um, an embellishment over it to cover up the little Staples logo because we certainly don't want that on our clipboard. So you're going to go ahead and do that. You're going to paint your clipboard. You're going to paint both of them. And then what I did is I traced my design out on chipboard and I didn't have a thick enough piece so I traced it out of two pieces and then I glued them together and then I went ahead and painted um, my edges all black. Um, I also traced it out of black cardstock but what happens is that you see the brown edges and if that's okay with you that's fine but I really wanted mine to be to look all more of the solid black. So I have two pieces of chipboard and one piece of black cardstock all in the same pattern. Now another idea for this is if you didn't want to do a fancy filigree kind of a look like this you could just do a rectangle and I was thinking about doing one of these for my husband and doing this middle section out of denim so to cutting it out of chipboard and then covering it with jeans um, and then putting his fishing pictures on there I thought would be really cute so um you're going to go ahead and glue your chipboard pieces together, do all of your painting, and then we're going to go ahead and start assembling our pieces. So this is already dry. I have one more that's drying right now. I'm going to cut a 6 by 8 piece of my patterned paper, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm going to reach in front of you there a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just um, ink up my edges just a little bit, um, just to kind of um, give it a little bit more of a of a distressed look. Kind of tone it down just a little bit. For my color scheme I picked this black and kind of a off-white uh, brocade and then I'm also going to do it with light blue and some green. And then to glue this down you could Mod Podge this on or you could just use your tape runner. Um, you could use super tape, whatever you want to do. Mod Podge works great and if you want it to have a glossy finish after you get your paper on there you could also go on and, and you could do a coating of Mod Podge all over the whole thing uh, before you put on any of your trims or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a, uh, my tape runner. Lift up the clip and then you want to slide this over about as far as you can and you want to of course center it top to bottom. This should pretty much fit right into that section and then what you're going to end up with is you're going to see a little bit of the black clipboard out here and a little bit of it out here. So then what I want to do is I want to add a little trim on there. So I've got this beautiful um, green velvet uh, rickrack. So I'm going to go ahead and run a line of adhesive, and I'm just going to glue this trim down right across that paper seam um, going down the side of my clipboard. And you certainly wouldn't have to do this. You could also border punch something, um, uh, you know, a piece of, of cardstock. My glue never wants to come out when I want it to. Not funny how that works. So, um, you know, it's totally up to you what you want to do for this. And, of course, your color scheme as well. Um, you know, it just kind of depends on kind of what kind of a look you want to go for. I think I'm going to hang this in my powder room, and my powder room is decorated um, French uh, with uh, postcards and stuff that we brought back from Paris. So um, I thought this would be really pretty in there to do it as a little photo display. 
Um, so just going to go ahead and kind of trim that off. And then I've got these little sections right here, and I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to just do a little line of adhesive. I don't need to fit it all the way across. Um, I can just do a little bit on the... I'm just going on each side of my paper. So, um, eh. come on. Come on, adhesive. Um, I like this 3-in-1 because it dries really quickly, but it does get kind of gloppy sometimes in the bottle. So, um, anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick that trim down um, along the bottom and al also along the top. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to um, cover the, our chipboard piece that's going to go in the center. And then we also want to um, punch holes so we can hang this. So you can see how that works. We're just going to go ahead and match that up with some beautiful trim like that. And I'm going to do exactly the same technique on my bottom clipboard um, as I have on my top one. Um, but you, obviously you don't need to see that on the camera. So we're going to go ahead and put this off to the side for just a second. Um, my picture mat that I'm going to do on this is I, I cut out a six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And what I'm going to do is I'll be able to just clip that right underneath um, that clip of the clipboard like this. And um, it just really is going to look fantastic. And then for to cover up the Staples logo over here, what I've done is um, I made a rose. Now, in your demo, we did a row. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a rose out of red, which would be really pretty, but it doesn't really go with my color scheme. So what I did is I did a rose out of the leftover scraps of my pattern paper. And I thought that actually looked kind of French because um, that kind of a toile look. I cut a couple of little leaf shapes out of uh, just some cardstock scraps. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that onto that clip to just give it a little, just to cover up that logo to give it a little bit of texture. So anyway, we'll do that. I'll show you that at the very end. So we've got this done so far. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and glue our, uh, our cardstock onto the top of our chipboard. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do the photo. Um, I think I'll just use tape runner for this. Um, I'll show you how to, we're, going to, we're going to hold that photo down with this as well. I'll be right back because I hear my phone ringing. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and covered my chipboard piece with my cardstock, and then I sanded my edges down a little bit because it's kind of hard sometimes to get these curves uh, really matched up, so a little bit of sandpaper goes a long way. Now what we want to do is we want to um, go ahead and cut yourself a photo mat that you would put a regular 4 by 6 picture on, and this one is 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter, and the reason we're going to do that is we need to figure out our position. Um, we're going to put some trim on here that's going to hold our picture in. So um, you're going to go ahead and just kind of center that there on your um, on your piece. And then what we want to do is we want to measure in a half inch um, and then just up just slightly um, from the top of each of each edge of that uh, of your photo mat there. And the same with the bottom. So over about a half inch, and then I would say just like, you know, maybe not even a, a quarter inch below. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our crocodile and we're going to punch out those four holes. And you want to use the larger um, hole punch for this. You want to go through all your layers. So go ahead and punch those four holes out. Just like that. And then you're going to need about two feet of a ribbon or trim. And what we're going to do is we're going to thread that up through those holes and then across. And the cross goes through the back. Um, we only want it to be the up and the down that's showing on the holes. We don't want to have it going across. And I'll tell you why. Um, we are going to tie this on the back side. And the idea of this is that way we can put our photo mat behind like this. So when you go to put your picture on this display, you can just slide it right behind those pieces of trim like that. And it's going to hold it in nice and tight. So isn't that just a really cute idea so that way um, 
you've got a nice way. You don't need to glue that down. You can just slip, slip that right behind those pieces of trim. What we're going to do is we're just going to tie that off on the back side. And then what we need to do next is we're going to um, tie our pieces together. So we're going to use these same holes. We're going to match that up with the holes um, just above. We're going to punch holes with our crocodile. And then we're going to tie those sections together and then tie on our bottom clipboard. And we're also going to punch holes at the top and we're going to do a tie. But I'll be back when the project is all done to show you what it looks like with our our fancy rows off to the side here and all of our photo mats and everything on there. Um, so we'll be back in a, in a minute after we get everything all finished up. Thanks. Okay, so I am all finished with our project. I'm going to use the my handheld cam and I'm just going to show you it's three different panels and it starts out with the clipboard on the top and you can see um, that we've got that trim on the sides and we used um, the rows over here to cover up the, the logo on the um, clipboard clip. Now, um, so the photo mat is permanent. Let me switch hands. And then the photograph actually is loose. So you just clip that on the clipboard. And then you move down to the second panel. And this is the one where we've got the ribbon or the, I'm sorry, the trim that goes like this. And your photo will actually slide underneath that. Um, and these are tied together with 8 inch pieces of ribbon. Uh, the piece of ribbon up at the top is about 16 inches. And then you just move down towards the bottom and it's the same clipboard that we have at the top. We just reversed uh, the side that the clip is on. It's over here on the right side this time. And we've got that same trim on the sides and we've just got one uh, big photo mat here to put our photo on. So that is our whole project. I'll kind of see if I can get an angle shot so you can kind of see the whole thing. And um, once again, I had originally intended to, have to do this with these beautiful red roses, which you can see would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. But for my decor, this color scheme really worked a lot better. So that's why I went with um, the light blue and that sort of a spring green. Um, if you don't want to cut out your leaves from scrap paper, one of the things that you could do is you could get these um, leaves at the craft store. They're on wire. They're wired. They're very inexpensive for doing floral arrangements. Or you could cut leaves off of something that you may already um, have some old silk flowers or something like, like that. So I hope you enjoyed the project and um, I hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day. We are going to be doing a bunch of videos this week of some other miscellaneous little projects. So I invite you to look at those on our blog and our YouTube channel. Um, until next week, we'll see you soon. This is Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks. Thanks.